Hello, good morning, friends. This is earlier than normal. Cause I had to set my alarm clock this morning. God's powerful. Praise His holy name. Let's get up and praise His holy name every single day of our lives, guys. Because I'm working 13 and a half hours a day. Well, they need me to work uh, the second half of the first shift. They need help. So it's Friday. People are always laying out on Fridays, not wanting to go to work on Fridays. So I got to work some on the on the uh, on the eighth shift this morning. So let's be let's be mighty men of valor. I'm gonna go ahead and go live here this morning, but early before I take me a shower. But First Chronicles, if you want to please search for that. First Chronicles seven nine, seven nine. Three characteristics of a val a valor man. Let's be valor. Yeah, pause for a second while y'all search for that. Frustration. Ooh, the implication. I don't care that. Show. I just say that little kitchen me. Seven, seven, nine. First Chronicles. Three characters of a valor man. Let's be mighty men of valor, okay? And we go seven, nine right here. And the number of them, after their genealogy, by the generations, heads of the house of the fathers, mighty men of valor, was 20,000. And 200. Let's be men for the Lord. Let's live for Jesus, not for ourselves, guys. Let's live for Jesus. Be mighty men of valor. Oh, yeah, please pray with me. Dear Lord, thank you so much, Father God, for everything. We're for, for waking us up this morning, Lord. Help us, help us get thanks to the Lord for your good, for your mercy, and endureth forever, Lord. We don't deserve another day, but you give us another day to praise your name, to live for you, Lord. Don't let people know about you, Lord. That's our job here as Christians on this earth. Help us, Lord. Help us, Father. Help us focus on you and your word, Lord. Help my young men this morning. Help them focus on you and your word. Help all the young men, all the young women all around the whole entire world focus on you and your word. Help them understand you are the one that got them up this morning. You are the one that's doing this, doing that. You, you, everything happens for a reason, Lord. Sometimes when we're disobeying, sometimes you're chastising our lives. To help us understand that you are the answer. You are the Almighty. You are the... The, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, which was and which is and which is to come. The Almighty, as you say in Revelation 1 8. You are the answer, Lord. Help us focus on you. Help me hear this morning as I preach. In your precious holy name, in Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ's precious holy name, we pray. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. He is powerful. Hello there, Mr. Stanley. Let's have strength, my friends. Let's have strength. For the three characteristics of a vital man of strength, courage, and his have passion. Let's have strength, Ephesians 6, 10 through 20. Come, please turn there with me. Go around the Bible a little bit this morning. Ephesians 10, 6 through 20. I think the whole arm of God. We're going to go ahead and read that out for everybody. You ever read that before? You ever heard about the whole arm of God? He's got a plan. His name is Jesus. Okay, you all listen right here. Final with number 610, 610. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For he wrestles not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your own girt about with the truth. And having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with preparation of the gospel of peace. And above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit. And watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel that for which I am an ambassador in bonds that therein I must speak boldly as I ought to speak we ought to speak about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ this is him the word was made flesh and dwelt among us full of grace and truth this is Jesus right here he is the word let's focus on him my friends because the Lord whoo the joy of the Lord is my strength this is the joy of the Lord your strength my friend is the joy of the Lord your strength should be. He woke you up this morning. He should be your strength every single day of our life. He is in control. 
The Lord is my strength and my song, and, and, and it has become my salvation. It says it like in Psalms 118, 14. The Lord is my strength and song, and it has become my salvation. He is our answer. He is the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me, as he says in John 14, 6. So let's be courageous, my friends. Let's go to Isaiah 41, 10. Isaiah, right before, let me go to Isaiah 41, 10. 110 right here where it says, Fear thou not, we need to be courageous. See, I'll pause one second. Well, I'll search for that. Isaiah 41 10. It says right here, I'm going to go ahead and read it. For thou art not, for I am thee, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yeah. I will help thee, yeah. I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. He's gonna hold, he's, he's gonna hold us. He's gonna be, he's gonna watch over us. He's gonna protect our lives. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna twist this, turn that. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna change. We're, we're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. Stop worrying. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not into thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thy own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. This we're gonna power three, five through seven, as I just said yesterday. Now in Joshua one nine, we need to be be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be that as made, for the Lord thy God is with thee, with us wherever thou goest. He's with us with us wherever we go. It's we need to seek the Lord in his strength, seek his face continually, my friends. He is the answer that was first Chronicles sixteen and eleven in there too. We need to be strong and of good courage and he shall strengthen your heart. All ye that hope in the Lord, says in Psalms 31, 24. Be of good courage, my friends. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. All ye that hope in the Lord. All ye that hope in the Lord. Psalms 31, 24. So let's have passion for our Lord, my friends. Let's have passion. Let's go to Philippians. We're going to finish in Philippians. We all need to surrender our life to Jesus. Every single day of our lives. So let's go to Philippians 2, 2 through 11. Wow, this is Philippians 2, 2 through 11. Yeah, you know what I've done now? I realized I couldn't do it. No, I should have should have had a note down there. Gotta get mother Bible out because this is my grandparents' Bible and some of the pages are missing. So I ripped. Then I can't I can't read all the scripture. But Philippians two. We need we need I, I carry a lunch box. I carry a a Bible on my lunch box. I carry a Bible on my truck. I carry a Bible here. We need to have a Bible everywhere we go, guys. This is God's word. He is everywhere. We need him all day, every day. He is the answer. Okay. Ephesians, Philippians, excuse me, Philippians 2, 2 through 11. Y'all please turn there with me. Might have to open the shower here in a minute. 2 through 11, right here, where it says, Fulfill. Yeah, well, I gotta put my eyeballs on. Put my eyeballs on, but it's very little, very little. Gotta put my eyeballs on for this one. Fulfill, fill ye with my joy. Okay, it says, Let, Let's have passion for our Lord. That's our topic. This, I'm, the, 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 uh, the point this morning, let's have passion for our Lord. Fulfill ye will my joy, and, and that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being one of one accord and of one mind. Let nothing be vent through, let, let, blah, blah, blah. let nothing be done through vent, through strife or vainglory, but in lowliness of mind, let each, let each esteem other better than themselves. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who, being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant was made in likeness of men, and being found in being found in fashion as a as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death on the, of the cross. Wherefore God also hath exalted, highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, that in the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of things in heaven, and things in earth, and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. We need, we need, we need to seek the Lord in His strength, seek His face continually. Because wherefore, my beloved, as ye have, have, have all, all, always obeyed, not as His presence only, but now much more in my absence, Work not your own salvation with fear and trembling, for it is God which worketh in both you to both to will and to do His good.
pleasure. We need to live for Jesus. We need to do his, do his good pleasure. We need to share his word. We need to do his good share. We all need to surrender our lives to Jesus Christ. Y'all please, y'all please pray with me. Dear Lord Jesus, help us all focus on you and your Lord, your, your word, Lord. Help us understand, Father, that you, you are in control. Help us all surrender our lives to you, Lord. Help me, Jesus. Help me, young men. Help Help all the young men, all the young women, all around the whole entire world. Help the middle-aged women, middle-aged men, all around the whole entire world. Help the old men, old women, all around the world. Surrender their lives to you, Lord. It's not too late, Lord. Help, help us, Jesus, or all. Get saved by your grace through faith, which is not of ourselves, which is a gift of God, not our works, so lest any man should boast, as you say. Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. Help us all, Jesus. Help us all focus on you and surrender our lives to you. Thank you so much. In Jesus' precious holy name we pray. Amen. Is all to Jesus I surrender all to Him I freely give. I will never love, I will ever love and serve Him in His presence daily. Live. I surrender all, Ooh, I surrender all. All oh, to Thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender all. Let's all surrender our lives to Him every single day of our life. All oh, to Jesus, I surrender all. To Him I freely give. I will ever love and trust Him. In his daily presence live. I surrender all. Who I surrender all. All to thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender all. Working 13 and a half hours a day. Let me get in and take me a shower and get on the work here. Make me an extra sandwich. God bless y'all. Y'all have a good day. It's early with Kearney. Y'all please pray for me. His name is Jesus. I'm living for Jesus every single day of my life. I don't want to be the only one doing this. Let's all get up here and tell people about Jesus every single day of our life. That's our job as Christians. I'll let's go ye into the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Because greater is he that is in me than he that is in this world. Woo, the joy of the Lord is my strength. That's Nehemiah 8, 10, 1 John 4, 4, and Mark 16, 15. Well, God bless y'all. Y'all have a good day. Early, girly. Bye-bye.